Hello YouTubers, today I'll be showing you how to make a relatively inexpensive indoor-outdoor projection screen. Here's what you'll need. Canopy ties. One and a half inch tees, PVC. One and a half inch PVC cross. One and a half inch PVC pipe. One and a half inch PVC elbows. And of course, a tarp. You can make the screen any size you want, but for my demonstration I'll make a 10 foot by 10 foot square screen. How many of each item you'll need depends on how big you want your screen to be. For this demonstration, I'm using four T's, one cross, four elbows, and I bought six 10 foot, one and a half inch pipes. I cut them in half, so now I have 12 halves, which are five feet long. You want to lay out the frame on the ground. When you push the pipes together, you want to make sure they're nice and tight so they won't slip, turn, spin, or fall apart. This is my finished 10 by 10 frame. Some things you want to keep in mind when building your frame is you don't want to go too far without a support. Now I went five feet with a support here. You can go five to six and a half, seven feet without a support. When you add supports though, you take out the opportunities to do rear projection and everything has to be front projection. So I'm going to put the screen on top of my frame and then we'll keep going. Okay, as you'll see my screen is laid out on top of my frame. It's not flat or anything. I'll have to stretch it with the canopy ties. My screen is a square. It's best used for full screen projection. If you want to do widescreen, I'd suggest going to a 10 by 20. However, you'll need to fit your space needs. If you have a small space, you won't be able to go that big. Start in the corners. Feed the tie through. Oh, I can't see this. I'll bring it up closer. You want to start in the corner of the tarp and feed this through like this, and then you'll take it around the pipe. Just pretend my arm's the pipe. And bring it back and hook it on like this. Like I said, you want to start with the corners across from each other and keep on working back and forth. This ensures the best stretch and you don't pull too hard and break any of the ties when you're trying to fasten them on. Once you have one on each corner and one on each side towards the middle, you can go around and just fill them in in a circular. As you can see now, the screen is complete. The only issue left is propping it up, pulling it up. Uh, indoor outdoor applications, you can use it on a stage in a theater or in your backyard to project a movie onto it. It just stands up real nice. This is the back side. You want to make sure the front side's around. You can prop it up against your house, a wall. You can hang it from a bat in a theater. In my backyard, I use ropes. I tie the top one rope going to the tree in the back, another rope going and tying on to a fence post over this way. And it holds it real nice. The wind can blow. It won't fall over. And it just seems like it's freestanding the yard. And the ropes are high enough that no one's going to trip or fall on them. I wouldn't recommend downward staking the ropes because you have the added tension of the downwards pull on the top of the frame. You could pull it apart. Stand it up for you so you can see what it looks like. Hey, hey. 
And see, it just stands real nice. Maybe just tie a rope around the top tee, go in each way. It's pretty solid.